and we are asking people to congregate and please try to um, congregate with people who you do not necessarily know. Y le pedimos a ustedes que, que, se que se junten al lado de esas personas que van a facilitar las conversaciones y no necesariamente personas que ustedes conozcan. So we're going to talk about what's happening inside this building, what's happening to our families, and we're going to talk about how we can take action. I'm here to, um, to, to stand in solidarity with the, the good people of um, Illinois who are standing, standing up to protest what's happening in, um, in this country around immigration, detention, and deportation. Welcome to Broadview. Bienvenidos a Broadview. This is the ICE Detention and Staging Center in Broadview, Illinois. When immigrants are arrested, they are brought here. Here their clothing and property is taken from them. They are fingerprinted, and from here they are taken to a county jail. So we come here every Friday because Fridays are deportation days. Every Friday morning we come here to say the rosary at 7.15 as many of our brothers and sisters who have been taken in raids throughout the city of Chicago and metropolitan area and are brought here for processing. This is a processing center. Our Father who art in heaven, God put in our hearts to remember the words of our Lord Jesus when he said, bring the little children to me, that we might remember the pain and suffering and torture of children who see their parents taken away from them. It is amazing to see the, the dedication and the commitment of the Sisters of Mercy and other members of the faith community who have been coming out here since December of 2006. Um, who, are, who are coming here to bear witness to this tragedy that's unfolding and the, the immigrant families that are being torn apart by our unjust laws. No, no, no nos moverán. No, no, no nos moverán como un árbol firme junto al río. No nos moverán unidos en la lucha Often while we are here, we will meet family members of people being deported. They come to try to say goodbye to their family members being deported, but immigration will not let them have any contact at all with their family members. When they visit them at the jail, like in Woodstock, they can only speak to their family member through the televideo system. There is no physical contact, no face-to-face -face contact. Recently, there were three young women that joined us here each of their husbands were being deported that morning. Two were pregnant, and one was carrying a very tiny baby. Three more families ripped apart that morning. In the United States, as we are here this evening, there are more than 30,000 immigrants being held in immigration detention. In the last 12 months, 280,000 have been deported. In the last four years, 66 people have died in immigration custody including Hasiba Balbachir, a 24-year-old woman from Algeria who was found hung in her cell in the McHenry County Jail in Woodstock. The problem is that the system has been so hidden. As you can see, I mean, we have nondescript buildings. Um, people are being bussed in through buses that have blacked out windows. You know, we just, the government is doing everything it can to hide what is happening, and we really need to, to bring this to light. Several weeks ago, we met a a woman here in her 60s whose son was being deported that day. Tears streaming down her face, she told us he has six children. She has no idea how these children are going to be raised without their father. They are losing their husbands, or husbands are losing their wife, families are being separated, and we, and this is the process that the church had involved in this, our mission, and we had it to assist our community pastorally and uh, and, and take a position and coming to the immigration and to lobby to the politicians to stop the deportations. It is a horrific system, contrary to all of our notions of decency, fairness, and due process. We are really hoping to um, uh, shed light on this hidden system and to uh, and encourage other people to join us. Right now there are other groups that are having similar protests in Tacoma, Washington, in Elizabeth, New Jersey, in, um, in Lumpkin, Georgia, and other places around the country. And we want to really grow this movement of people who are concerned.
the stands by the water. We 